When I first came to the league a long time ago, years ago, um, I met a young man named Dan Ginsburg and uh, immediately made a friend. Dan was, uh, I, I met Karen as well, who was a Rappaport growing up, and we immediately bonded and started chatting. But Dan was everything that you wanted a young leader to be in an organization. Uh, he was tall and distinguished and articulate. He had an intellectual curiosity, a young man no, notwithstanding. He asked tough questions in the back of the room. He stood up and challenged some of the leadership when he had an issue that he wanted to raise, and he did a terrific job of it. Uh, he came from a family of Zionists, and he actually served in the Israeli army. And I can remember well, as I have an opportunity to do from time to time, to give him an aliyah. I gave him the introduction for Yitzhak Rabin at one of our national meetings. And he said to us, the idea that he could be a soldier in the front lines in the Israeli army and have a chance to come to an ADL meeting and introduce his commanding general was very, very special to him. And it was a really wonderful evening, and the warmth and the glow that Dan brought to that evening was very special. The fact that we lost him really way, way too soon in a tragic accident really stopped us in our tracks a bit. But the good news is that his family, his wife Karen and his family, decided that the best thing they could do in the memory of Dan Ginsburg was to endow this Ginsburg, Daniel R. Ginsburg Leadership Award to recognize other young leaders around the country, not just in the New York region where he served as, na as chair of the New York board, but all over the country. And by the way, my, my own personal view is that had that not happened, I think Dan probably could have been a national chair of this organization. Such was the caliber of the man and what he brought to the table. So some of us who knew him miss him. And those who don't take this opportunity to remember him in a way that I think does credit to our league and helps us recognize other young people, other newer leaders to the league, who, again, have that special extra something that we want to recognize from time to time. Next recipient, Anne Levine. <laughs> You know, it, it, it's true. Um, it, but let me tell you something. The noise that you heard is nothing but love and nothing but respect and nothing but joy about this moment. Um, I will tell you, and I've known you. Um, we met each other probably a year or two ago. And I just know, knowing the Santa Barbara people, how much they think of you, how much they love the work that you do. So let me tell you a little bit about what Anne does. Um, first of all, she is serving as the regional board chair um, and has been since 2008. She's a graduate of the Glass Leadership Program, a past Glass Leadership Chair, past Civil Rights Committee Chair, and currently a Leadership 2020 representative. In 2007, her region honored her with the first ever Harder Meyerson ADL Leadership Award. She's described by regional director Cindy Silverman as a community leader, advocate, and fundraiser who works tirelessly to bring new and young leadership into the league. I'm proud to present the 2009 Ginsburg Leadership Award to Anne Levine. I truly appreciate the opportunity to be here and to have my ADL batteries not recharged, but amped up. Um, and the honor of being included among such inspiring recipients of this award, past and present, so thank you. Imagine spending 30 years starting an ADL chapter and building an ADL chapter and then letting a 35-year-old waltz, waltz right in changing everything, advocating board term limits, and taking an hour off the gala, and a national commissioner's worst nightmare, right? Um, but not in Santa Barbara. Our region has a 35-year-old board chair because our local national commissioners and lay leaders 
asked a 35-year-old to be the board chair. How did they cultivate young leadership? First by asking, and then by stepping back. Not behind me and going away and leaving me, but by supporting me through every step. And the best part of being board chair is working with dynamic, passionate, knowledgeable, forward-thinking people. People who exemplify the idea of putting your money where your mouth is. The Harders, Lyons, Meyersons, these people have influenced me tremendously. I've learned so much from them and from our regional director, the Dynamo Cindy Silverman. I have actually incorporated a tool of Abe's into my leadership style as well, utilizing the compassionate and dissent killing, I hear you. <laughs> I use it mostly with very well-intentioned board members. Um, I do not serve on the preschool parent committee um, or the PTAs like so many of my friends do, but I serve as regional board chair for the same reasons they do those things. Because for the same reason they, my friends plan the preschool seders and bring latkes to their children's classes, I'm here because I want my daughters to be proud to be Jewish and to live in a world that encourages that pride. So thank you all for being here.